The Meat Hunters are proudly sponsored by CMS Calls. Well, this is it. Opening day of rifle here in VA. And uh, it's a super calm morning. We have just very little wind. It's about 28 degrees. And last year we had rain all day, so I'll take this. No problem. But uh, we're in the same spot where we had that encounter back in archery season with that big eight point. And we saw he bedded right over there. And the key to this spot is it's, it's a bit of a safe haven for them. So a lot of the rifle movement we see tends to be other hunters spooking deer. And this being that kind of safe haven, usually they'll slow down. That's going to be good for getting them on film. And also we're getting a clean shot. So it's, uh, it's been like for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Not much has happened yet, but we'll sit tight. We got a whole day ahead of us. After a relatively slow start, the first deer movement we saw of the day actually had two small bucks coming through to my left. Now, just with the way my tree stand set up and the way that I had to use the camera, I couldn't actually use my main camera to film this, but I did have a scope camera and I was able to get some footage as they kind of passed through. Now, most deer don't actually come from the left side like that. These ones just happen to, and at least I had the scope camera there to get them on film. As the day kind of went on, a few deer passed through here and there, but a lot of the deer were actually coming through behind my tree stand. And I've hunted in this area for about 10 years in a rifle season, and they've just never done that before, so I don't know what actually changed. Maybe it was the area other hunters were and where deer happened to be kind of getting pushed from. I don't know. But that was making it relatively difficult to film, and these guys actually did the same thing as well. I was just able to get them on film since they passed through a little more slowly. But it was good to just sit and enjoy deer actually passing through, because for the most part of the day, it was just sort of flashes of deer here and there. And as I'm kind of watching these deer pass through, I realized there was a small buck with the herd that actually got kind of driven to me by some other hunter somewhere. And this is kind of just a demonstration of what I need to happen. Just the right herd of deer getting spooked by someone else out in the woods and coming through here and giving me a shot. Now, obviously this buck is not really what I'm after, but that's all it takes. Just the one deer coming through the right area at the right time. As it got closer and closer to dark, the one kind of good thing that happened was there were pretty consistently deer actually somewhere around me for the remainder of the evening, which after spending the better part of 11 hours in a tree stand, it can get pretty monotonous. So that was good to actually watch some deer moving around as the evening faded away. Even if they weren't legal deer or anything I could actually shoot, it was just nice to be able to watch them as it got dark. After an extremely slow week of seeing almost no deer, Saturday, December 7th opened with deer running absolutely everywhere. Now, this is the first day in PA firearm season where both bucks and does are legal to take, so I have to think that's kind of what was causing this, more hunters out and about just trying to fill the freezer. But this was a very welcome change from the previous week where I have no footage between the end of the first day and the beginning of this Saturday. There were just no deer anywhere, but today was very different.
as I saw deer after deer just piling into this area all morning. All I could think was, eventually someone has to kick out a buck. There must be drives going on all around me because this is significantly better than the first day. I've seen actually more deer by 10 a.m. than I did the entire previous week. So I'm just sitting tight. I'm just waiting for an opportunity because I know there just has to be eventually a buck that's going to get pushed through. As I was watching those does, I saw up on the hill another deer that I thought may have been a buck, so I just positioned the camera up there, and when he finally stepped out, I realized right away he was a shooter, and pretty quickly, panic ensued. Now unfortunately you see him actually trot out of the view of the camera, but that is what the scope camera is for. After the shot, he sort of hopped into the brush and then was just standing there, so all I could assume was that I missed and that I had to take another shot. And once again, he's just standing in the brush. I can't figure out what's going on. I feel like the shots are good. And I'm just incredibly confused at this point, but eventually he's in the brush, it's not really on camera, he does go down, and it is one of the best feelings of relief ever, because I just had no idea what happened. Man, I could not be happier to be sitting behind this gorgeous PA buck right here. I mean, just for the way everything went, and the way our, our archery season was, we were so close a couple of times, and to finally close it out and rifle on a buck of, of this caliber is really, really cool. I mean, it's just been... An amazing season. We've we've had some really cool encounters on on film. Uh, unfortunately, you know, this is the only deer we shot in pretty much broad daylight. And I don't even know what kind of film there is. I guess you guys have seen it um, by now, but that's the way rifle season is. Things are so fast. Uh, I think if I'd have tried to get the camera on him, it would have been pretty easy for him to to be out of my sight before I could have got a shot. But uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. It's things to improve on. Um, most of my tree stands are set up, you know, they were, they were put there for hunting, not, not with filming in mind. And that's something that, uh, you know, came up this past summer. Tree stands hopefully for next year will be set up specifically uh, for filming in mind. So ideally we can do a little better on actually getting the animals on film, but I think it's been a pretty incredible 2019 season. And just to wrap it up, looking at that guy. I just, I'm a happy hunter right now. But, uh, you know, we sat until about 10.30, and we were just seeing doe after doe after doe, and I just had a feeling eventually a buck has to get pushed to us. There must have been drives going on somewhere. I don't know what was happening, but there were deer running everywhere. And you just had to think eventually a buck's going to get bumped out of his bed, and fortunately it was this guy, and he gave us a shot, and man, I'm just, I'm speechless. But I think probably we're going to wrap up this video here. Um, I don't think there's a better way to do it than, than just taking a look at this guy for a little bit longer. But I would say I'll see you next week, but I don't know that I will. Uh, this is pretty much the end of my 2019 hunting season. There will be turkey season, you know, next spring. Maybe I'll do some small game hunting here and there if that's a possibility. And one thing I know I'm going to do is like a self-filming setup. So I'll do a, a video kind of going over the equipment I use. So that's going to be a thing. But uh, as far as when the next video is going to be from my side of the channel, I actually don't know. Um, but I think that's a good thing. I think that means we, we succeeded since it's December 7th and, uh, and we're pretty much done. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around and joining me on this 2019 season. It's been an absolute blast. You know, the encounters we've had, the stuff we've got on film, it's, it's been really fun. So I'm looking forward to 2020 
And uh, I think for now, this is a uh, short goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you whenever the next video drops.